Hey guys, welcome to the podcast. Today we're going to go through a banger of revealing the latest uh, um, physics offering of what they consider the unified field, the zero point, but I'm going to give you absolute physical examples of this potential through this whole video and you're going to experience it through the understanding of the lens of a Taoist and the alchemical process that goes through you go through to activate that and these are ancient practices that we have been handing down from generation to generation for longer than time itself so don't forget to stay to the end of the podcast and we will go through an exercise that will give you a new definition of PK touch, psychokinesis, and it's a banger. Enjoy the video. Wu is nothing. Emptiness, non-existence. The limitless of a circle creates the entry and exit of all things. Infinite in every expression, the space between us fills with this eternal knowing. The entry in and out to this very existence is framed on the creation of this primordial knowing. Consciousness only exists with mere representation of what you see reflecting in the mirror of infinite possibilities. Only when that form has Wu does it possess life. Speak this now. Speak this knowing. Speak this forever. <sighs> Welcome to the Consciousness of the Way, my Divine Delectable co-host, High Priestess Jade. Ooh, coming in hot. Hot diggity. <laughs> hot diggity do. And I am your humble servant and Sifu, Taoist Master Sun Ching. And that was an absolute banger, as always, mm -hmm. directly from the transcribed scripture the magical register that we call the Tao Te Ching uh, I was in deep connection and conference and concert with my my divine source and mentor an expression of divinity Latsu my teacher and has been for many many decades and through those words, you feel that visceral somatic response that is oscillating within you. Mic drop. <laughs> it's the now moment, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. Furthermore, brings us to the magical day that is today coming from the words of a potential prophet, a catalyst, a conduit of the very knowing. And it's so funny when you have these epiphanies. Um, we're going to speak on how powerful the, the primordial mother, the black hole energy that we have been using for hundreds of thousands of years, our, our uh, synthesized uh, synchron synchronicity a synchronized serendipity, the very now moment that Taoists have been using for as long as you can remember. And this is the very harmony that comes with this deeper source of the universe. And behind that has been this very, very ancient practice of revealing the black hole energy within the energetic potential of your architecture and you assume the resonance of that through these practices. Now, I bring this to 
our attention today because this has been going on, handed down for generation to generation for more than I would like to even measure in a timeline of human history. As a Taoist, one that has a deep understanding of this relationship of the primordial mother will be familiar. If not, you've been lied to. <laughs> and so from the prophet, it's so funny when you look back at these things, uh, um, there's a song from the 90s, and the lyrics are very simple. Black hole sun, won't you come? Wash away the pain, black old sun. Won't you come? Won't you come? Whoa, mm -hmm. where did that come from? I have no idea. That almost kind of, I'm surprising myself at this point. <laughs> and so these are lyrics that lent to other things, but generally speaking, when he channeled that information, he fell to his fell on his own sword many years ago. I think almost <laughs> ten years ago, over ten or fifteen years ago. Yet he had the secret deciphering of this very code. And so yin and yang, when you reveal that that deciphering code, the code to everything which is yin and yang, that powerful talisman gives you the answer to all things. And so furthermore, we have, you know, um, this, this bolstering and, and constant, like, oscillating of the scientific community, which we understand, we know it is a very new language. It's another facet of the excuse me, the diamond, the mother. But uh, I found it quite interesting because most recently they're, they're getting closer and closer to something the Taoists have known for longer than time itself beyond any construct that you could even reference as a construct. And so <clears throat> black hole energy is very, very telling. It's a reflection returning you to the center point of knowing who you are right here, right now. And what's the difference for everyone listening who aren't familiar between black hole energy and just regular energy, energy itself? Well, you see, it's so funny because... You have, um, you know, more recently contemporary um, um, minds like uh, Nassim Harriman, who is a self-proclaimed physicist. I, I think I like him because he's dismissed by the, the scientific community because he hasn't earned his licks, yet he was naturally born into understanding this stuff and through his own progression of that, that symbiosis, this symbiotic relationship between intellect and intuitive knowing that in his intuitive state is the very driving force of his knowing right and so as a young boy he can reflect on all this download of information that is now validating and verifying with his own work crunching zeros and ones the formulas are evident within his own language right so um this is something that we've known beyond the beyond as Taoists, right? And anyone that doesn't teach you this very fundamental stuff, perhaps maybe you might want to look closer at their idea of what Taoism really is, and that's completely cool, but you're probably getting shystered. So when you talk about black hole energy and it's evident in everything, someone with the mind of a physicist would reflect on it as the center point, the zero point of all things. So what does that mean? Basically, it's within everything. And that's the mirroring effect of what the primordial mother is, the void, baby. 
And so when you, oh, yeah, get oh, that I, chill, babe. It's so funny because you said, I, like, the second you said black hole, I just imagine a yin yang being well, you, you know. don't have to imagine I know. it's present no, no, in but your like mind the second you say real. that that that's what comes into my mind right. and then you say the mirroring effect which is it's the it, one side of it's, it's a black awesome. hole yeah. that mirrors to the white side yeah. of the anyways oh you're having the know, epiphany baby oh yeah <laughs> i thought i would share well no because when you understand that deep nature we speak on it very clearly mm -hmm. from the void from the darkness <laughs> becomes the spark the light that is the seed within the primordial mother's womb the seed to all creation now <laughs> i'm sorry but you can sit and oscillate and and reverberate with that knowing right there because the knowing comes in the visceral mm -hmm. the knowing comes in the feeling it doesn't come in um um hyperbole and 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 anticipated like uh uh you know what would we call um, concepts, theories, which so many physicists have. And I will have to tell you between Nassim, who, who claims I can show you, I don't need you to show me anymore. You had me at hello because you're speaking on stuff that I know to be true. I know because I access it myself. Mm -hmm. I teach people how to access it. And it's returning you to this now. So... The black hole energy is the very fabric of all things. And within it, within that center point, you you create the contracting and expanding that we refer to as the bellows. So in every moment, you are all things and nothing at the same time. And so when you isolate and you're able to access the mother, the primordial mother, it's the center point between the breath in and the breath out. So everything returns back to the simplicity of this, this bellows. And when you understand this, you now get your Death Star moment as Luke Skywalker, if you choose to accept this mission. And by hitting that center point, you can then now maintain that, which is what we call resonance, and be able to replicate it through Taoist practices so that every second of every minute that you are transcribing your human experience you are bringing it that means that you are you are the present moment you are the mother you are perfection and that will come in that resonance so instead of you having to um call in your guides be very clear let me go back a little bit so this primordial mother that is the substance, that is what we call the substance, what we call chi, what we call perfection, is not from this electromagnetic spectrum, right? So you have electromagnetism that exists within all things that you would perceive as the universe. When you enter to the lip of a black hole, we call it the event horizon, all bets are off, baby, because now the frequency is on a whole nother level. It's not subject to the electromagnetic spectrum that we speak of. So what would be the variable difference? How I describe it very clearly for anyone as a disciple student, 126 or subscriber, you've heard me say this before, but let me repeat it so you get a, you sink your teeth in as a seeker. You're, you're basically light to wave to matter to particle, realize with your attention, intention, cutting from the cloth of perfection, the mother, you create distortion, as my dear friend Martin would say, the dukkha. You are now changing things evidentially, uh, tangibly within this material frequency. So now... Everything that you are aware of, the mic, the camera, Jade, my body, this space, it's all subject to this polarizing effect, which furthermore goes deeper to find that center point. There is always the polarizing effect within this universe. 
the universe within the universe within the universe that brings us back to the macro of a micro. And so when you enter that, you are now creating distortion. So it, everything has energetic potential. Now this has an energy. The en it is an energy. The energy is a vibration. The vibration has a frequency. The frequency you've met with resonance, that means you hold that resonance. Oh yes, it will be yours, oh yes. So when you listen to new age speakers, mentors, teachers, they talk about holding that. Everything has a frequency. If you can discover what that frequency is, it will be given to you. Now, conceptually, this is kind of cool. This is where the secret comes in. This is where, you know, you get <clears throat> people chasing what we call the spiritual dragon. It becomes problematic for the seeker because you have your, your, your feet in two worlds. Mm -hmm. And you are, you are distorted by your perception of this reality. Because to access the mother is to be absent of identity. This is not, why, this is not washing you away. This is not destroying your personality. It's being able to obtain a resonance. And when you you maintain that resonance, all the traits of delusion, the mental state of, of the psyche will fall away and you will, mm. we will present yourself as the default, which is servitude, selflessness, the now moment. Uh, can you dig it? Yeah, I kind, of, I kind of vision it like if your water you're you're always the resonance of water but when you're frozen you're ice mm -hmm. you're a different you're a distortion of mm -hmm. it when you're hot you're steam but you're always water it's not it's not like when the ice melts there's nothing there anymore like it just turns back into the liquid form of it so it's like when you're when you have the ability to switch between your personality your higher self the res you're still able you're still able to be there it's not you're not com completely dissolved of yourself you're just able to manipulate what state you want to be in right uh, i want to be flow i just want to be water right now i want to be ice i want to be in this form and that comes to the mastery yeah you become the master keeper creator of your reality and to access that we always suggest we always offer the mastery of the alchemy mm -hmm. alchemize it all so you return to who you are return to a knowing of who you are that's the power of of this stuff and so you can then basically as someone would identify a dimension we would call it more a frequency but to identify that dimension we operate in all frequencies at once. That's the power of ni gong, ni dan, internal alchemy, internal power is that mastery. Mm -hmm. And when you return, you will know we access wu wei, effortless action, effortless effort. That sounds like a double negative, Jafu. Mm -hmm. When you're there, baby, you're going to say, just like everyone else, Thank you, sir. May I have another? You want more, boy? Oh, yes. All of the twists can line up behind when Harry met Sally, and I'll have whatever she's having because you know. And so you use this tuning fork as this, this evidence of material, the physicality, which is really an anchor for your spiritual consciousness in the now moment. The now moment is absent of identity, place, person, or thing. So when someone says, I am... I would say, you are not. <laughs> so understanding that that is a separator in of itself, this, this actual conclusion, because there is no conclusion. Because if you're contracting and expanding as the, at the same time, which is the very essence and, and the, f the, the knowing of a Taoist seeker that turns into a Taoist knower, you're all things and nothing at the same time. When you enter as I am, 
you become absent of the all, the knowing, the present moment. You separate. So for you to truly accept that, that resonance and it will present itself in manifestation, magic healing, you will see that. The mastery of the energetic potential is where we talk about the gateway is through the imagination. That's where, as we would put it, the veil is dissolved. You enter into that portal of knowing, oh yeah, baby, that charge you get right now, you know the truth to all things, which reminds me that your truth is the only truth you need to be concerned with. The only absolute truth is that. When someone tells you, I have the absolute truth, this is my knowing, that is, it's your knowing. So we always describe spiritual consciousness as this. We're all part of the same fabric. If you're distracted and you are, and you are distracted from the knowing of the present moment, you will be caught in the trappings and the distortion of personality. Mm. You'll be caught in the trappings and the distortion of this material space. It's not to say that it's not exciting because you were given the anchor, the physicality to experience this. But it returns to the simplicity that a dear friend of mine, Tom, and I always talk about, which is, are you half empty or half full? Is your glass half empty or half full? Get cut to the BS. Let's get down to the brass tacks. It's that simple. And so people have heard this idea before it's been offered to them but they get caught up into the trappings of their emotional state as their identity. And that's okay. We all have to start somewhere. Just so happens you could use the Way 126, which mm -hmm. is an app that we developed to give you evidence. The self-evidence, the self-realized knowing from the seeker will bring you to that point. And, and people go, well, oh my goodness, that's, that sounds so simple. Well, yeah, you know, in lots of cases, when people are first starting on that journey, because it's all energetic potential, to bring yourself to that resonance that, that is the mother, that is perfection, because it hasn't gone anywhere. It, you know, it hasn't gone anywhere. This is it right here, right now. This is it. This is the power we speak of. You, to enter the Wu Ji, the mother, the center point, between the breath in and the breath out. So within the, 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 the black hole energy is why it's such a phenomenon, is when you hit that event horizon, all of a sudden the frequency is not subject. It's not the same as the electromagnetism, even though it presents itself. It becomes abundant, timeless, endless, limitless, infinite. And this is the type of stuff that people... Um, are making claim to harness um, within certain devices. Now, we show you evidence of the mother all the time. Like I said, we have um, uh, uh, specific products that you can access and use to permeate the space you're in, returning it to that frequency. And then, of course, your training, that charge, oh, your training through the mastery of yourself will make it your very breath. So you are no longer um, asking for anything. You're no longer contemplating. You're no longer having a dialogue. You are the monologue. That monologue is the now moment. So you become the maestro. Mm -hmm. So when you <clears throat> wave your wand this way, everything moves that way. When you wave your wand this way, everything moves that way. When you think it, it will be so. Healing is instant. Manifestation is instant. Magic is instant. And it will present itself as such. Oh, yeah, baby. So when people think about this idea, because I, like, I feel like it's been a little bit confusing, where are we starting, is everyone the second they're here starts out with that resonance yeah and then it just gets it covered it, yes with personality 
and they're now here. Now, here's where I feel like it gets confusing. I feel like so many people, they want to do this spiritual path, a spiritual journey. I want to find myself. I want to feel this thing. I must do, this is how mainly it starts. I must do, da, 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 da. instead of going, I know I have this resonance. I'm going to allow allow myself to sit back into it. Mm -hmm. I don't need to attain all these different things to then have it. You already have it. I already have it. I need to allow it. Remember, allow it to come through. And I feel like as humans, we're so conditioned to like learning, acquiring, accessing that it's, it's this... A, almost this like pull of attainment instead of this release to almost like sit back into it is that well yeah i mean we speak on this this is a misalignment mm-hmm. right so as you continue your journey as a human being you layer upon layer upon layer misaligning altering the very knowing that you have that's why here's a plug the book that I'm about to release called Return, The Ritual, is the very construct of understanding the internal alchemy, the internal power that you have. And you must first remember, and by remembering, you return. By returning, you know. And that knowing is a now moment. Mm-hmm. And so if... The center point of everything, which is everything. Now, from a, a physicist perspective, let's just say Nassim is uh, um, talking more on this. So black hole energy is within everything. Let me repeat myself. Black hole energy is within everything. You are a macro of a micro. So the very premise of what we call entanglement is the understanding that black hole energy is the infinite amount of center points that are, are exist in everything. Whatever it is, you will find that black hole energy. As I said, I referred to it within one of one of my students referring to, oh my goodness, he got a, a, a grant to do research paper on the nucleus of a cell, what was in it, and he comes back and to his amazement, which he's been taught and has accessed that energy for years, Knowing, he had a knowing, yet his intellectual mind, using it to discover these things, discovered that within the nucleus of the cell was black hole energy. Mm-hmm. And he was like, Jeffu, oh, you're welcome. Mm-hmm. And so this is the premise of that. So when, when, when you refer back to the lyrics of that song, black hole, son, don't you know? No, it's actually come and wash the (laughs) tears away. This is understanding that there is a black hole within the sun. Mm -hmm. You understand? So this to many uh, uh, physicists would be poo-hooed because they they need the formula. Nassim, which I find refreshing, claims he has the formula. He crunches the numbers. It can be created. But we've known this for beyond time, beyond the creation of any title that would give you an inkling of what the construct of everything is. As a Taoist, that is the universe giving us the deciphering code to all things. And so we have ritual to obtain this alchemy and alchemize it. As this is the sun, this is the earth, this is the moon. These are three center dantians, which is the elixir field, the energy field. And each dantian has 81 chambers. Each dantian within those 81 chambers is an activation that we teach people where it's the death of a star racing of the black hole energy through the uh, relationship that you evoke from the um, immortals that are eternal inside you, that your relationship never left, that that 
percolation and that energy that's sitting in your stomach right now, the pit of that percolation is the very knowing. And so there's a, there's a method, a system, a cultivation. That's why we, we suggest and promote and offer this ancient primordial ritual. And this is where, and I've had conversation with my dear friend James Tunney, where there's a spiritual war going on, mm -hmm. where people are being uh, attacked on all levels to continually remove themselves from that knowing. And they don't even know that they're doing it. And it comes in the form of uh, linguistics. It comes in the form of symbology. It comes in the form of energy. And so when people understand how easy it is to separate someone, as I remind you, when you are emotional, you are suggestible, which refers to the gateway, mm -hmm. to the direction or change of direction that you can have instantaneously. <clears throat> Yeah, it's like we always talk about um, the analogy that everybody drives around in a Pinto until you remember and realize that it's you really have a Lamborghini engine. And I think it's, you know, it's getting to this point where what's the easiest way to get people to not realize that they have the Lamborghini engine is they just don't even let you drive if you're not even driving you're you're so caught in the weeds of everything and this attack on you know um religion ritual spirituality um this essence of even just connecting with nature and being so distracted with this you know technological world right in front of your face in this constant need for um, the next thing, 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 and never really falling back into that present moment because you're, you know, FOMO, fear of missing out, this this embedded... Uh, That's you, the key. I mean, she mentioned it. Yeah. Fear. Exactly. Exactly. A hundred percent. And it's being, it is, there is being a um, attack on it. And I think that's why it's so important for us to remind you and to emphasize, show you. show you to emphasize that now moment and especially the ritual and the ancient Taoist lineage that even just saying that has has a charge and you begin to feel it because it's been so embedded and imprinted that it's undeniable. Right. And I mean, that can be reflected on this new language of science. Yeah. And, you know, just the idea of DNA has the symbology of your letters, numbers, symbols, words, all embedded in a subatomic level mm -hmm. that has you gravitate to something that helps you re remember. That feeling is the knowing. And so it may be the Bible. It may be the Tao Te Ching. It may be the Dharma. Whatever it is, you will know. The return to the center is that. And so black hole energy from a, a Nassim Harriman perspective is the very essence of all things that we've known for us beyond time. Everything is energy. And everything is energy. And you obtain this frequency that is not of this realm not of this frequency, the frequency that is the mother, the frequency that is the return, that is abundant, timeless, endless, limitless, is what you already possess, yet you have been distracted enough to literally turn the switch off. Imagine you have solar panels, and all of a sudden you have endless amounts of energy, and someone, some, someone somewhere, somehow, through your own journey turn the solar panels off and you you have been led to believe that you need to pay for this energy through i mean it, it's it's almost ironic when you really think about what i'm speaking of because it it's it literally is a statement that describes the current uh, affairs of the world stage and so many of um 
the issues that generally the average human being is dealing with, which is energy in of itself. That is the currency that is so expensive. That is the currency that is so controlled, whether it's your electricity at home, whether it's the gasoline in your car, whether it's the combination of both. This is the jewel. This is the ring, my pretty. Mm -hmm. Because with that, you access the power. Now, from a, a fundamental material perspective, that power exists because of this tangible evidence of harnessing it. You're harnessing it, yet you've forgotten that it. you are it. You've forgotten that it exists. So what we do is by returning, we turn your switch on and you are an oscillating, reverberating now moment. You are accessing the mother as it should be, as you are the mother, you are the now. That means that you are contracting and expanding at the same time. You're all things and nothing at the same time. Your ability to concentrate your attention, intention, as we speak about the perfection manifest is the diamond. This is a representation. And if you understand how a diamond is made, it's made through the pressure and, and the pressure and, and construct of that substance that forms this beautiful expression. And that is the same with the electromagnetic spectrum. You are creating this density pressure. That center point is that light. Let me explain it to you. When I was taught this from Latsu decades ago, you know, at least 30 years, the center point is the creation of all things. So when I am in a moment of healing, when I am teaching others, <laughs> the veil. Oh, so I mean, wow, you just, cl you just clicked my head a few different times when you the, said that. Now the veil, the veil, the backdrop of my eyes open is complete darkness. As you would look and sit in my position, you look around and go, there's Jade, there's the camera, there's the table. My backdrop, what I see is complete darkness. And the second my attention, intention is drawn to a manifestation, magic healing, anything, because I, the present moment is all we have, because my resonance is attuned to that, it creates instantly from that center point. A center point will be materialized, the diamond will be shown to me, and then it will be directed and created instantaneously, and it will form in that. So if I'm observing someone's healing, that charge you keep getting that reverberation, I will witness it. <coughs> Someone could go, oh, grandma's sick on the other side of the world. I'm like, I got you. And they're like, what do you mean? It's already done. And they're like, what are you talking about? And then, of course, through my own admission many times over, grandma wakes up the next day. They were supposed to be in a coma. They're supposed to die in 24 hours. And when I witness, what I witness within my, my, my lens, and this is all cultivational practices of what we call sensory perception, it goes under the blanket of mediumship channeling uh, uh, clairvoyance. These are all just facets of the diamond. It's a backdrop. There's a bright concentrated white center point and then it just instantly envelops everything and turns it and returns it to the light and you will witness that you'll feel that as i say it you know that and so if it's a healing the person will instantly it'll be like grandma do i need to see a picture no it instantly envelops that person i see it and as you raise the resonance back to its return, it will continually engulf and and oscillate until everything returns to phosphorus white light. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, I was just I was just thinking because whenever you uh, mention healing or or what it looks like to you when you heal, and um and you like tissue, you know, like I had a burn on my hand, and it was and and I and I was. He was healing me. I was watching my hand. And let's be very clear. When I say healing, all I'm doing is bringing a resonance that Jade is now returning to her knowing of that resonance, which 
in the end result of that is the physical healing. We're, we're not doing anything. We're just remembering. Be yeah. very, very clear. But there is a path. This is a thing that people get all caught up in. Oh, I'm just now. I got it. I see the Palladians. I've got the energy. It's all coming in. Now, what happens in 99.99% of the time when people have the epiphany is they never find it again. And then they end up on my doorstep, Jade's doorstep, and they're looking for it because they're constantly tapping into their, their, their basically their life force of this physical flesh. Mm -hmm. They're misled. They get a taste. Like energetic potential is everywhere. You experience uh, more commonly in this new age world is, is Kundalini. They refer to the Kundalini awakening. That's fantastic. I believe that you're having an awakening of energetic potential. What you do with that, unless mastered, is not much shit, really. Mm -hmm. It just becomes just more presented as you want it even more because you can't return to it. But that's the now moment. What what we're doing is is basically showing you through the mirror of this, oh, this is what I look like. When I look in the mirror, oh, this is perfection. And it comes in a cultivational practice. So everything is fre fre frequential. So the frequency is the attainment. And so most people will stay in the weeds of the emotional content, which is just, it's like literally your personality is like flipping through the pages of a book. It's just one paragraph of a page. Yet some people love to sit there. They love to construct. The construct of whatever it is that you are creating is your construct. Do not be misled by the absolute construct that is only determined by that person's belief system, which would be in jeopardy because a belief system is not a knowing. Be very clear. Let me repeat myself one more time. A belief system is not a knowing. This is where we talk about if you come from neurology, psychology, biology, physiology, you are limited at best. These are all facets of a diamond. They're all starting points. But if you hold your hands tight and clutch that belief system, you'll always be in lack of. That is the very distraction of this experience. The return is to access that. And how do you know you're there? You will experience it. You have. You've experienced it throughout your whole life. A selfless moment, a servitude. That is it. That's the default. Now, all we're doing is we're giving you a, a, a Doc Brown and Marty experience of 80, <laughs> 88 miles per hour. Doc, 88 miles per hour. Ka-chink, ka-chink, 88 miles per hour. We're going to bring you back to the beginning, which is the return, mm -hmm. which is why <laughs> that's the name of our book, The Return, The Ritual. And when you do that, which gives you the very deep understanding, the fundamental understanding of all the alchemy processes, which is so powerful, you go, my mind is blown. You had me at hello. And this is why human beings are obsessed with what a psychologist would consider the hetero action, mm -hmm. which is body language expert. You must start what you finish. You must start what you finish. It's representative in everything that you experience is that why people just feel so lost yeah. and everyone always is like what's my purpose because they can't they the the source universe whatever you want to call it the mother has opened the door to you and she goes it's open and then your entire essence is going how do i close it <laughs> I'm sorry. This is wow. Yeah, it's mind blowing. We're blown. having we're having a, we're having the we're epiphany having of epiphanies. Epiphanies. I, even just when you say 88 is yeah. infinite, infinite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and you know, and, and if you look closer at any of Nassim Harriman's work, mm -hmm. it's literally a validation of of a Taoist knowing. It is. That's like, you know, when you look at the deciphering code, the talisman is so powerful, we use as this universal knowing, which is the yin and yang, 
the symbolism, the symbol, symbolism, the symbolic knowing. This is your deciphering. That's your this map. is your code. This is it. It gives you everything at once. Mm -hmm. All is one. One is all. You just have to know how to read it. Yes. And that reveals it all to you. Mm -hmm. Now, even this comes down to understanding that this is all cycling and it's all circular and it's always reverberating and oscillating, contracting and expanding, contracting and expanding, <clears throat> contracting and expanding and realizing that center point is accessed. That's the power right there. Mm -hmm. And when you get that, all bets are off. Now, for everyone who <clears throat> maybe is, this is a brand new topic, when most people think of a black hole, mm -hmm. they think of this, you know, vortex or suction that just takes everything and it disappears. Right, right. What is the real definition of a black hole or from a from a Taoist perspective. Well, that that is the source to all things. That is the creation <clears throat> of all things. And that's why we always reference the void. Mm -hmm. And then fundamentally, this then builds on itself. Within that black hole is another black hole. Within that black hole is another <laughs> black hole. Within that another black hole is another black hole. This is why I always speak of when I teach someone OBEs or out-of-body experience astral projection, which is another facet of the diamond, another uh, uh, supernatural paranormal uh, mastery, which comes from literally vibration. It's like em embodying a vibration that mimics itself within this physical flesh. And then you have an actual registered knowing of when your spirit pops out, which... I'm always out and in. I could give you, I'm operating in all dimensions at once, having the time of my life. Now, the black hole is that evidence. So when people go, oh, well, what what, what does that mean? I mean, you're just, you're, us, you're contracting and expanding. I mean, literally, if you listen to any of Nassim Harriman's stuff, he literally describes the journey and all this stuff. Now, he doesn't have the mastery of the techniques that the Taoists use, but he's validating Taoism. He's literally With, validating. Within now, physics. Right, within physics. And of course, he would just refer to it as that. He, mm -hmm. You know, we don't look at things as good and evil. Mm -hmm. It's yin and yang. This is the oscillating effect of that, the interplay of the polarizing effects. And the seeker to go from the seek, Tao was seeker to knower is to be able to enter the Wuji. And so within this spectrum, within this material, within this frequency, or if you're some type of like physicist, this um, um, dimension, you are subject to the, the polarizing effects of both. And furthermore, within his research, he would say that is the very the very explanation of all things within this universe. And so it just builds on itself, a macro to a micro, a micro to a macro. You go from this universe to another universe, to another universe, to another universe, to another galaxy, to another universe. And it continues with the center point, which is the black hole energy, which is once condensed into from black to white. This is how we form the diamond of perfection. And all bets are off, baby. And mic drop. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I think when you start um, kind of processing all these things the way it is, it's like, you know, a single drop into like a pond and the ripple and the ripple and the ripple and the ripple. And it's like you're just looking at it from one ripple to another to another but there's always that center point in everything that is right and that's how we show people through the energetic potential is you enter that center point and you're able to to now palpate and orchestrate yin and yang at will mm -hmm. and that knowing is that energetic potential that that visceral tangible material that you are in the midst of of experiencing right now 
Right. Is that knowing? And that's what we love to play with, baby, is the energetic potential. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, all bets are off because now you become the master keeper creator of your reality and it will be shown to you within that. Or you become more absent, more distant from this knowing through the construct of the human condition, which in returning to that knowing of the selflessness, the servitude, you cycle the gift as your offering, the offering is your gift, kind of similar to the contracting and expanding. Mm -hmm. And so your servitude is really, if you're in service to others, you are in service to yourself. As you are me, I am you. All is one, one is all. You're abundant, timeless, endless, limitless, infinite. As the truth to all things. And the internal flame that burns inside you, which is the anchor to the truth. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. And we're still, you're still able to have your own... Um, personality personal perspective as a collective and fall back into the entire collective well it, it, and, and and again the path is for a Taoist seeker to a knower mm -hmm. is self-realized right it has to be experiential it has to be the experience it has to be the now moment it has to be validated as you know a dear friend of mine tom campbell would say be skeptical. You are skeptical until otherwise noted. It's all nonsensical rubbish. People talking heads uh, uh, pumping out more words, fluff, nonsense until otherwise noted. You must experience it yourself. And that's the power of the now moment. And you, you will, if you follow the path of a Taoist seeker, you will become a knower. If you hang out with us, you're going to become a beer. Not just an hour of beer, mm -hmm. which is part of the cycle of what Taoist alchemy creates. It starts with the physical body, energetic body, spiritual body, uh, sun body, earth body, moon body, oneness body, ultimate body, and then being. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. Which is the highest level of ascension. Your direct source channeling is mastery. Because that now moment, as Harriman would say, is you know beyond light, light speed, right? Everything is happening beyond light speed. You would perceive it as now. We we talk about now. I don't care about the crunching of the numbers. And he goes, well, it's actually beyond that. Well, listen, if we could show you now, as you feel the energetic potential now, enough is enough. You don't have to get into the weeds. You just know it within this this center point. Now, what is that center point? What is your center point there? Now, that, that synchronicity, that symbiotic relationship the sun and the earth has reveals itself in the energetic potential through that lens as the sun hmm. is created behind that in the center point of the sun is the black hole oh baby mm -hmm. that transmission of frequency to mother earth that electric potential is then represented within the magnetism of planet earth that center point and it reveals itself through the rainbow and that center point is the center point of the rainbow baby Mm -hmm. which would reflect on the colors that most ancient systems refer to within the internal alchemy. Oh, you had me in hello, Jafu. Mm -hmm. Mic drop. Yeah, I kind of think like, um, especially when we keep thinking about this contracting and expansion, like the expansion is... Um, your body and the way it feels things, the way you walk in a room and you get a chill or the way you walk um, into something and, and you feel this warmth and embrace and the, the contracting is, is the mind and, and, and the limitations that we tell ourselves and, and when 
those are at odds. We don't listen. We had the gut feeling, but we didn't listen to it. We had the intuition, but mm, my brain got in my way. I was supposed to go with my heart. I went with my head. And we have these moments. And the center point is when the two come together. And you fall into that center point where you're perfectly aligned with both of them. And that's where I think people get this, they fall back into that flow. They fall back into that remembrance. They have that glimpse where that alignment was so perfect between the the dowsing and, and the feeling that your body has in this beautiful synchronicity with your mind and being open and the, the non-limitation, the limitlessness. Um, and that center point between the two is where you get that glimpse. And now it's just reminding yourself and remembering that that can be always. Right, right. I mean, it, it just comes right back to that. It's like you thinking your intellect, your thinking right. is separate. It is not. Mm -mm. But you have to be self-realized. There has to be an evidence-based moment for you to validate it on that level. So intellect, intuitive, third eye, vesica, center point. You can't make this shit up. Mm -hmm. That is the now moment. Now you start to play with the simplicity of neurology. You have a neurologist say that is absolute nonsense. <laughs> the brain is not sympathetically innovated. There is no neural pathway or network that can identify with feeling that. It doesn't exist. If we go looking for it, it's not there. This is part of the nonsense of one belief system. Mm -hmm. Understand this. Know this to be true. I can show you that you can feel it. And you feel it for yourself. It becomes self-realized. Because once you become the maestro of the 50 trillion cells that you possess as the flesh and blood that looks back at you in the mirror, oh, yeah, baby, it will be yours. Oh, yes, it will. And that is the difference. And what we talk about with spiritual warfare is you being separated from your knowing. The more you create this idea that the mind is separate from everything, is the very delusion. Mm -hmm. And so this is where it's propagated within psychology and it makes you so head fucked and twisted yeah. because that's its purpose. It was designed that way. It hasn't been around that long. So psychology's purpose is for you to remain separate and not know that the tuning fork is commandeered and maestroed by the now moment your attention, intention is the present moment. You think it and it is realized. That's right. You think it and it is realized. You're not thinking it as your identity. You have attuned yourself to that resonance so that you are now part of the primordial cloth. You are now having self-evidence realization that that cloth of perfection that we speak of that is con cut and contorted into distortion is now represented as your flesh and blood, your thoughts, your very moment, the now moment. And you will feel the energetic potential as you do right now. As I move my hands, you can feel that because I am the now moment. And so think it and it is done. You're not going, hey, universe, hey, primordial mother, hey, uh, guides, hey, angels, hey, spirits. You are now. It's now, but it has to be self-evident. So you can think it, but if you don't believe it and your belief system is limited by that very pillar and that belief system does not turn into a knowing, you will always fall short because you, you're going to say one thing, think another, and the end result will be in deficiency. The end result will be in lack of, and it will show you, ah, it didn't work. Ah, I, manifest, I, I went to manifest or... Uh, I did a I did a healing. No, it never happened. That's where the energetic potential is so palpable. That's where we promote, we offer this as a mastery for you to decipher. That's why Taoist alchemy is the shiznit, mm -hmm. because with that you are not deluded. With that you are not buying into this separation by 
uh, uh, identifying as the mind as separate, as the mind as a psyche, as the mind as intelligence, and that this is not the same as what we call spiritual, spiritual consciousness. You already have it. Now you have to be able to realize it and show yourself that comes from the mastery. Yeah, baby. The cultivation. The cultivation. And so if you beg to check out Nassim Harriman's stuff, it just validates all the things that I teach people. And mm -hmm. I can go into deep into it, which will probably blow his mind. I'd love to have a conversation with him at some point because mm -hmm. this is how powerful this is. Now, everyone comes to that same conclusion in their own ancient path, yet it's very clear within Taoism the fundamentals of, of physics today can be identified through the deciphering symbology not just anything this powerful symbol is the very answer to all things the yin and yang and so it starts to present itself in uh protons atoms all these things you can go right down to the subatomic particle all the way up to beyond the beyond the beyond 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 now through my own admission when i go into uh, uh playing around with frequencies and I pass this frequency and I go into another one which from some type of like a physicist perspective would be you're entering this dimension going into another one if you want to call it that that's fine I've explored up to 36 dimensions been absent of time and space for what I thought was a brief breath in and a breath out that turned out to be 14 hours hey they don't call me the master void of time and space for nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> and so that also presents itself, right, in the now moment. And so when you keep seeking, you will find that center point. And um, I would just definitely suggest that you look at some of his stuff and you'll be like oh my goodness Jeff has been talking about this forever mm -hmm. but he doesn't have the secret source he's just identifying with the crunching the numbers the understanding of this bellows effect that is in everything and that's what we speak of within Taoism you know everything I think, is I think that's his validation like his self we keep no. talking about this self realization self realization is the physics well yeah. that that's what i mean and yeah his he's i think he has that knowing and 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 he validates it through the physics which then you know makes right. it real for him right and he's microscoped you know just something as simple as a yin and yang mm -hmm. and when you look at it it's what we call the hurricane the tornado which within it is the center point. Mm. So everything is moving in a circular fashion, always. It may present itself. So when I say light to wave to matter to particle, with your attention intention, what he wants to d dispute or have a, a healthy debate about is the observer idea he considers nonsensical. Well, I'm not talking about um, it being an observer. I'm talking about it being realized so when you go from light to wave to matter to particle through your attention intention these things are not separate they're not being created by what someone would consider the observer they're always there you're just that present moment you're remembering and then of course you access the potential it's no longer just some limited tangible thing it's now Abundant, timeless, endless, limitless, infinite. Mm -hmm. The truth to all things. The truth to all things. So leaving you guys with a couple of mind-blown moments of realization. This whole episode. <laughs> this whole episode is very much that. And this is stuff that we hold true to ourselves as, as Taoists. Mm -hmm. And we teach these things. So with that, we will give you a re-up. And you're already feeling the resonance, right? So your physical body, if you're observing or listening to this, has already gathered what we call the riches. And that palpability is evident in your physicality, right? So you observing this through the breath in and the breath out, as an observer with your eyes open, I want you to do that. 
Breath out. <sighs> now, the intrinsic uh, energetic potential that comes right down to the, the little fluttering of energy, prickling, sensory perception is taking place for you. Now, if you inhale, hold it. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release. Now, you're in my playground. Now, if I move my hands and I do this, and you go, what the? He's through a camera. He's on the other side of the world. How is he playing with my energetic field? Yes, you can feel that palpability. Now, when I move my fingers like this, and I do this, and I do this, and I do this, and you're feeling it through your physical body, that visceral feeling, all I say to you is, you're welcome. And that is the toffee, that is the substance, that is the now, that is the mother. And I can move my hands and you feel it through your whole physicality. Holy shit, Jafu, this is really happening. You're welcome. That chill up your spine, that feeling as if I'm touching you. This is what we call, as if I'm touching I am touching you. I'm touching your energetic field. Your energy is my energy. We are one. So I can touch and go right and touch your nose and you feel it. I can move the energy down and you feel it in your legs. Move it up and you feel it in your chest. Move it up, feel it in your head. I can oscillate that energy and you feel it because this is the now moment. Oh, yeah, baby. So this is what you're experiencing is what a lot of magicians tend to play this nonsense of PK touch and they pretend to do it. You are now experiencing it firsthand for reals. This is psychokinetic uh, uh, potential. And you're welcome. And with that, in closing, because I think your mind's blown and you could just sit there and have a cigarette if you need to, just take a moment and reflect on uh, the, the resonance that you've been experiencing this whole time because that is just me and that is just you and that is just what this is, which is the now. I will leave us with thanking our divine delectable co-host Jade as you guys sit into that amber of a cigarette as it oscillates and through any breath you are feeling the the incredible palpability of that potential through your physicality and on that note I will say I am your humble servant and Sifu Taoist Master Sanjing and I'll see you in the next one guys mm -hmm.